Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to go offshore, not quite as far, and try some more deep dropping. We're going to try around 300, 350, a little bit shallower than in previous times, but just going to see what happens and uh, what we can catch. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, we're in 350 feet of water. We're gonna make our first drop here. Got some bonita belly for bait. Should be nice and tough, which is why we like it. It's a little tougher probably than squid. This is what I did to keep my rig from getting tangled. Let's see how it works. That spinning rod is ready to go out in the heartbeat, isn't it? Uh, it's got a hook rigged on it. Yeah. Um, out there. Never know yeah, once we get settled, I mean, we could literally just let it drift with a bait or something. Mahi might come up there. Or... Yeah. Is this the weight in or is this the other uh, I think the weight in. Sure. I mean, they both have that loop. One bigger than the other, or what? Um, I try to, but I'm not so sure. Yeah. Want to double light it? Yeah. See, for deep dropping, this rotating rod holder is really nice, and for a lot of things. Definitely deep dropping. Comes it makes it easier to get the bait yeah. You don't have to take your reel out of the rod holder. Try double lights. Before we go down, it looks like a little grass. I want to drop her down and I'll keep the boat going. So it should we be about 115, 120 meters. Maybe we should put the go fish cam on it. All right, guys. New location. Yeah. Moved out to a little bit deeper water. So we're gonna give it a try. Ready? Yeah. Turn the boat a little forward, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got that Benita in there. I didn't put the tune on there. Mm -hmm. So I'll do this at one. You may have to put the tune on there. Press the mark button. The mark. Yeah.
It's like a tile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wanna come over here and I'll. Yeah. There we go. Like yesterday. Nice. What was that on? What bait? Combo. Combo. Squid and cut bait. Uh -huh. All right, guys, got our second tile fish. So that's exciting. Got them in about 450 feet, close to where we got one of our uh, bites yesterday. So that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, we just had a bite, tile fish bite, I guess, probably. So what I did was I marked it on my, um, you know, GPS unit, tile fish bite, just so I know I'm in a good area, and if I need to go back to it and redrift, we can uh, we can do that. All right, guys, we caught us a yellow edge. First for us. Get a little yellow on them. Yeah. All right, guys, so we got another tilefish, another grouper. Learning a lot about deep dropping. Um, I think we're gonna try some deeper water next. We did 350, didn't do as well. Went to 450, did okay. Um, got a few fish. Got, got some bites, that was cool. And we got some cool underwater footage. So we're gonna take a look at that and see uh, you know, what all we saw. You know, maybe, maybe we can find something we can improve on our setup, see if we're getting to the bottom, see if the other fish are feeding it, see what our baits are. We made sure to try multiple baits, squid, cut bait, stuff like that, um, which is good to have, you know, especially when you have five hooks, you know, vary them up a little bit and see what happens. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you got any questions or any comments, you know, just comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.